we would be using browser Firefox that's the URL we have to supply this is a entry point to the software uh, just to uh, pinpoint this as of now I'm using a local host I'm using my development machine for the live presentation because during the presentation I would be deleting modifying the transactions uh, which is not feasible for a production system later on in the last phase of the presentation I will also take you through the the live production server where the software has been deployed and being used practically so as of now it's localhost we need to log into the software before we actually use it there are two perspectives for the users one is from the canteen staff perspective and second is from the user perspective the software is available to uh, two entities one is a canteen people and the other is user itself uh, the software enables uh, the feeding of the information the masters the transactions to the canteen people whereas for the user perspective uh, user can see the information their bahikata their accounts the transaction details and can change his password so uh, let me show you first perspective first uh, the canteen perspective this is the first screen which comes it has various options one is for masters transactions and reports the master screen consists of various master objects of the system product masters item masters vendor masters user master and office masters the first about product masters the product entity is a very initial unit of the system in fact this is the first entity which needs to be added to the system uh, no transaction can take place without referring to a product so let me show by adding a product when we come to add product screen a product code is generated automatically so we have no effort involved in that uh, these are three different category a product can be added under one is rations a second self made a third is ready made a little bit description would be required for these categories the first is ration the product types which act as a raw material for the canteen are put under the category ration these products for instance are like salt sugar vegetables fruits oil various spices uh, these products act as a raw material for the canteen staff to prepare uh, the self made food in other way these products cannot be directly sold to the user so that's about the ration category and the second is self made uh, the self made category are for those products which are manufactured or prepared or cooked by the canteen staff for instance the dinner lunch veg snacks non veg snacks etc ready made categories are those items which are not modified by the canteen and are supplied as it is by the canteen to the user for instance the cold drinks biscuits chocolates etc uh let me add a product say uh, african salt just randomly taken on this product it is under the category ration i will just save it see it has been added okay it's there under product now so this product is now ready to be put under transaction i can always edit this and change the category or the name of this now deletion subject the possibility of deletion of an entity in the canteen software relies on the fact that whether it has been part of a transaction or not if any entity uh, has not participated in the transaction as yet this entity can be deleted but once the entity has been participated in any of the transaction uh, it can be deleted for instance we have just added this product african salt 
so we can click on delete and we can delete it but if I show you the product masters list we find that delete tab is disabled for many of the products if I click on this it says cannot delete this detail since it has one or more records bound to it that means uh, this particular product has participated in at least one or multiple transaction now deletion of this under the same course will create a flaw in the system so it can't be deleted once it has participated in the transaction so we'll more know about the dependability when we move to a next screen and this item master item master is the heart of the software because these are the item only which are visible to the user and the user actually consume the items whether these are remade or self-made so this is a list of already added items let me add an item before a canteen person add an item he has to select the product category because any item has to be part of one of these category either it's ration self made or ready made from the user perspective ration item would not be available to the user but it will be beneficial to the canteen people from the vendor perspective i just added a product uh, Af african salt so i will just add that item once i click on ration i will find all the products which of this type so african salt would be one of them i will just write oh i've got it i'll just provide a brand name as i said that products are inherent to the canteen system they are visible to canteen people it's only item which makes it sellable so any product to be converted to sale has to have item so we just write a uh, african salt black or like this now basically item is a virtual term which generalize an item with a brand uh, we say american salt black uh, this is the item name for american salt black which is of the product type african salt but this particular brand may come in different flavors may come in different packaging or different sizes maybe like this 10 rupees cost and sale price is at 12 I will just save it and then I will add say 200 gram 2022 20 save it so actually if we dig it down it's only sub item which is sold a sub item has the commercial value it's not only item but item is a abstract which binds all the sub item this make organization more clear I will just save it uh, just a relation of item to sub item could be better understood if I show you one already atom category like cold drink we can see uh, all the cold drink product type as we know uh, in India the cold drink uh, there are many uh, famous cold drink brands one of them is coke uh, then we have uh, Pepsi these are various brands but all these brands items co pepsi mirinda limka they have a common product type which is a cold drink so if i click on item number 10029 or just try to edit it i find these information So we have one item cold drink now under this item we have various brands which is coke 200 ml coke 500 ml thumbs up limka fanta so a person needs to refer a product type first or item brand cold drink under this cold drink whatever sub items are available they would be actually sold so this is how the binding of item and sub item take place
now uh, we just added a prototype african sort uh, let me tell you uh, now up till this point of time it has not participated in the transaction so it is deletable so what makes is non deletable is when it has participated in a transaction so let me add this product to one of the item and see the status of deletion for instance i just check for item called sort okay now i have just added african salt black having two sub items 100 gram and 200 gram for the product called african salt let's see the deletion status of this product now just say it can't be deleted that means product is dependent upon item once it's connected to item it can't be deleted now you can see all these deletion tabs are enabled by default that means all these items have not participated in the transaction until now if i show you the sold items we can see the cold ring tabs deletion tabs are disabled we can't delete it that means they have been sold now we move to uh, next masters which is vendor master now vendor is again one of the important entity for a canteen software uh, this helps in maintaining the inventory for the canteen people to start a transaction with a vendor a vendor record has to be there in the system this can be done by adding a vendor to the system the code would be generated automatically followed by a name address and outstanding now this outstanding can be provided once only when vendor is being generated or vendor is being added later on can't be changed i can't skip things i have to add name and address are mandatory outstanding amount can be a zero or not now i can see uh, these vendors uh, 010203 all these are deletable that means there is no transaction started with these vendors but vendor say uh, v0004 this one if i click on delete uh, i can't delete it that means there are transactions with this vendor then we have uh, again a user masters a user of course the customer of the software is the most important entity in the system to add user we click on add user uh, we can see the options the name of the user the division the user belongs to this is basically a list of offices we have just added De uh, department the user work in the optional email address of the user the password uh the login name the user code and the password would be used by the user when he actually log into the system to check his details for various orders he has given or the payment he has made we can provide one time opening balance for the user this is again can be put once only uh then we have a module access these are the various modules which canteen administrator can provide for a user the bare minimum module access has to be the login the user can't login if this option is not clicked password change ability to change the password by the user ability for a user to see his bai khata ability for him to log out and the helper modules for these these are the bare minimum rights or a general purpose minimum rights which has to be given for all the users more rights can be given based on the requirement for a specific user if i like to save it it's a username can't be blank so name division department and at least one module access has to be mandatory and we can check the details of already added users like this for instance u0009 want to see the detail of the user just click on view you will know code name department division opening balance and the rights 
what are the rights available with the user okay let's proceed further uh, let's go to office masters now this comes before user basically uh, office has to be added in the system before we actually add any user to it a user cannot be added without any office so we need to add an office to add a user so these are the various offices in the system to add office we click on add office id would be generated automatically office name is mandatory and opening balance which can be added only once when we are adding an office we can't skip it we have to add a name and option balance we cannot delete an office if it has it has a, at least one user bound to it for instance we have a t1 office we can delete it so it has gone so once office has not participated in any of the transaction it can be deleted from the system so it has dependency on the user so that's it for the master module uh, we'll proceed to a transaction now